Okay. Let me finish for y'all. Get on, on Ethan. I know. And it don't have to be abated unless it is in a friable state. It's still it was in a friable state. I mean, yeah, yeah. let's don't. Yeah. We did it several times. This has been coming for a long time. All right, All right where are they? Y'all want those or y'all want to keep them? Or? Okay. Um. This is much deeper than the board. Okay, there's also the house that was in Longview that uh, Dwayne had a survey on. And well, actually, Dan Bigfoot's the name that was on the survey paper that was sent to him. There's also emails from Dr. Hoda saying, let's assume it's not hot um, in the Longview building. Um, Dan basically told me to get a contractor that wouldn't ask if it was asbestos or not. And they demoed it. The city basically didn't require a permit on a technically commercial building. Um, I would say two weeks ago, or before my surgery, um, I did have a meeting with the FBI, two agents, and the EPA uh, from, I think, the Texas area. Um, they are investigating. They have investigated a couple of board members um, one of them came, I think, and looked at some stuff the other day for his own uh, thing, but um, this is going to be in the paper. Um, I don't know how many of the people up top know, um, but I think Mr. Dodgen's going to be in the middle of it because they asked me about that. Um, everything that goes back. For a while, I do think we're having a full-blown EPA audit. Um, matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they're going to go through everything that we did. Um, I don't really know what's going to happen. Uh, I have an attorney. I think other people need attorneys. I'm not telling you if you want to use my attorney. I have his name and number. I'm only including you in this because you, you ask, you know what I'm saying, you're not here right now. You wasn't a part of this last little thing, but I'm sure you know some of the stuff that Leon Dodgen, I'm sure they're going to end up talking to you sometime, and it's going to be in the press. So it's going to be in y'all's homes. It's going to be in your families. It's going to be it's going to be out there, the way I understand. I've already got a call from Bridget. Ortega, I think is that who it is for the New Long Journal. She's been wanting to meet with me. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, they didn't promise me any amnesty for any of the stuff I did, or, or excuse me, from the stuff I did by telling them when, anything, but that's just it. So, um, I was instructed to tell y'all who I thought might want to go talk about it and who might not. But if y'all want to talk to Mr. Nutt or Scooter or any of the board members, I think Mr. Walker knows about it. I think Mr. Robinson knows about it. Um, I'm just letting you know that those avenues are out there. So, anybody got anything to say? Any questions? At this point, I don't have any questions. Does anybody want to, the numbers of, I think the agent's name's John Jones with the FBI. I don't have his oh, number, but my attorney. I'm not looking to talk to the liaison for this Nobody camp. Thank you. Me. Who's the liaison? Whoever's in public human resource and stuff. I don't talk to anybody without going to them. Okay. Well, I'm just letting y'all know. I don't, I don't care if so, they come up and tell me to do the I'm president of the United States. Go through, supposed to go through. Okay. They go through proper procedures just like I had to. And okay. they're with you. I'm just supposed to be. Yeah, I'm supposed to be, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if they call you directly, I don't know what to tell you. I didn't 
I talked to them. So I did have my attorney. I did get an attorney to talk to. Them. So I have one question. Okay. Mr. Dodgins aware of this? I don't know that he is anybody. I don't know any. Well, I just know that it's fixing to. I think I think he knows. The, they know about the stuff that was dumped at his house. They know. They, they know about the house of Longview. They know about the hospital. They know about. Uh, that's your phone. They know about the Dotson. I would take it off the phone. Uh, you've got those three. There's one. Uh, uh, Mom and Holly. Uh, 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 I don't know how they got it. You already know. In front of everybody. I did that in front of everybody. Uh, front of everybody. Uh, and beats them had it done in front of everybody so everybody uh, would see and might think like the, that they did it right. The lobby area in front of the front desk or something like that. Uh, all right, thanks, sir. So, and you've already talked to these folks? I have already been questioned by them, yes. Before I had my surgery. Like I said, two FBI agents, I don't remember the one's name, but one name was John Jones, and there was an FBI guy. He's doing the criminal investigation for government corruption. I guess they were already here investigating the some stuff <coughs> so and I guess when they're digging things just have a way of coming out so mm. would y'all rather me not told y'all and I'm just not going to talk to anybody unless they can find me. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where I am because I'm outside. Well, I wanted to give y'all time to think about it before. I didn't want y'all coming out and knowing that I knew and didn't say nothing to y'all. So, I think I owe y'all that. Oh, yeah. No. no. And I, I told you a few weeks ago that it was probably going to blow up. Mm hmm Cause I couldn't, but I couldn't tell you yeah. what it was. What is the college's view on this? Which you I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Dan and you have not discussed it. I have not discussed it with Dan. I guess if, well, I don't know if he's going to. Have you discussed it? Right. The only it. person I discussed it with is those three, and like I said, yeah. Mr. Nutt. Yeah. And like I said, they, um, and Mr. Nutt, yeah. um, Mr. Nutt, and, um, I, I have never, I've met Scooter, but I haven't talked to Scooter, but I know he's been leading the, hmm. the deal. And I know that they're, according to them, the vote thing that they got where they vote the board members out and stuff, I don't think that's necessarily good either for them. So, yeah. that's not going to be a good you know, that part's the same thing as a quorum or whatever. I, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know. But I know it. it's not, I don't want to call it legal. It's not the right. I don't know. That was just said that that ain't right. So, I don't know what they're going to do about it. But I thought, like I said, I owed it to y'all. Yeah, tell y'all. And, um, and the reason why, like I said, I'm telling y'all now is because like I said, I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the paper, and the, I was told that it, whatever it comes out, it's not going to hurt the FBI's investigation. So I don't know if that means they already got all the information they need or not. I don't know. I don't know how the FBI works. I never, I thought that was on TV until, I mean, I've never seen a really FBI agent for real stuff on TV, so... Not as far as legal counsel, you know, I don't know um, why I would want one until I need one, but if I do, I guess. 
Well, I just wanted y'all to have yeah. the information that way. If y'all wanted to hmm. at least have a number to call. Yeah. And be prepared if they come, then you can say, I don't want to talk in this without my yeah, legal mean, attorney or whatever. Nobody has to say anything without having an attorney with them. Yeah, no, no, no. All you do is be straight up with these people because they're going to... Well, I'm sure they're going to make it a big deal. I mean, because we didn't do any air tests on the people that was in the Datsun. Maybe it wasn't a minute, a minute amount, but at the same time, we didn't have the right or authority to expose anybody without testing. And if you test, then you should have had to send it to Austin and get permission, which would have put the performance back. You know, and I'm sure it's not just, it's going to be a mess. I'm just saying, it's going to be a mess. Oh, yeah, it is public. And I'm sure that all the maintenance that's been exposed or had the chance to be exposed, they're going to probably have to be tested to at least have a starting mark. I'm sure everybody that was in the auditorium and in the hospital will have to be tested. To have a starting point if they develop as so they do, sure. Yes, I think um, we abated some. What did we abate out there? Let's, let's pull up some base. Some base. We abated some base. But that is all one common air handler and it is a hospital. There's different rules and laws for hospitals and schools. There's different laws. But technically, any asbestos, whether it's friable or not, which is the old law, any of it, I believe, is not supposed to be removed or touched now. There's no, there's no, what are you going to say, amount. Once you know it's asbestos, you have to have it abated by a crew. So, so like I said, I think. So does that mean it will involve the hospital? I'm sure the hospital. Personnel too? I'm sure, and I'm sure, I'm sure when Rodney hears that we abated the stuff over there, he's going to tell about the plastic deals and how we kept overriding them, and he kept telling us. I'm sure all that's going to come out. I'm sure, I'm just saying, this is going to be bigger than just us getting a fine this time. And like I said, that's what's had me so uptight here the last month. I've been eating egg, whatever it is, Xanax-like candy. My stomach's been in knots. I've lost 12 pounds. I've had knee surgery. It's Christmas time. I need my money for my, at least my kids' Christmas. So, there's a lot riding on it. Oh, yeah. I mean, but they can't really fire you or dismiss you. Mm -mm. I don't have no contract with them, so. Because Dwayne took my contract years ago. He took my contract. He took my title. I don't know and he even, he even gave my work, my truck to, to Rick. Mm -hmm. He had already said that he wasn't. He had already told too many people. He had already told them that I wouldn't get the truck the first time. When he was going to buy uh, the girls over there, Leah Gorman's, and he was going to buy another one, and he said, "I hey, wasn't going to buy me one. He'd buy you one." And then he comes up and tells me, it's, "I don't care who drives it." Well, that's probably because he knows. He probably knows that all this is business. They probably already heard that this is coming out, so he was probably trying. To do you not think when they start investigating this, they're not going to say, well, why didn't somebody tell the chain of command screwed up? Because why? Because, and then they're going to get, they're going to get into all his stuff too. All that's going to come back. All the harassment, all the affair, all that's going to come back. That's all part of it. Because if there was a proper chain of command and he wasn't trying to mess stuff up, and if he would give us the money, it shouldn't be a matter of, do we have enough money or go to him? It should be, you see asbestos, you got to do work there. Or it's insulation's coming off, you should abate it. 
We shouldn't have baked just three feet of the pipe. We should have baked the whole room when people got to work in there. That's what's killing us. Literally. That's why I was mad when that woman laughed in the EPA meeting. It pissed me off when everybody thought that was funny about the disgruntled employee that had the oxygen bottle that uh, well, he's always dying. Well, guess what? If you have to have an oxygen bottle when you're 70 years old, ain't you going to be pissed off? I wasn't in on that meeting. Yeah, you were just sitting right beside me. When Cynthia was talking about the disgruntled employee with the... Dude, I had so much going on in that uh -huh. thing, I didn't hear half the stuff she was talking about. I'm just saying that's I what upset me. I was listening to this person, that person, this person. I don't know. But like I said, they asked me about everything, so I told, I was everything. like Chum, I told everything. Ooh. You know, Chum oh. from the Goonies in the, 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 the third grade, I told everything. Why? Why not? I got nothing to lose. You, why, you ain't why, got nothing to lose. curiosity, why didn't you just say you don't speak to them without... I had an attorney. Kill, 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 kill. I had an attorney. But that's not Kibble College's attorney. Oh. Okay. At I mean, some I mean, here here's the difference. At some point at some point you gotta start thinking about you. You gotta start thinking about you. Now, let that sink in. Let me ask you at some else. point Let me ask you something though. You don't think that the Kilgore College's attorney isn't thinking about you because No, I don't. Because no, I don't think the Kilgore College attorney is thinking about me at all. Okay. I think if they had if they, if they had a chance to say that it was a rogue employee, just did that crap on his own, and get the upper management and the college out of trouble, you don't think in a heartbeat? I'm just saying. I'm going to repeat that one more time. I want you to let it sink in. At some point, Terry Huckabee, Okay, and the reason why I'm saying this is because did you not hold the bag? He was there. Are you I not the no safety? Are you not about. technically? That's a good good answer. I but at no some point, at some point, you need to start thinking about you. I have no idea what okay. you're talking about. So I don't want you mad. What you're saying is this is basically every man for himself from this point on. All I'm telling you is don't count on. Other people not throwing you under the bus. That's all I got to say. I don't want to make you mad. I'm just telling you. At some point, think about you. Think about your family. Because I didn't have to say anything. No. I could have waited till it hit the press. Wait till people show up on people's doors. So. You can be mad, you can bait my guts, you can do whatever you want to do. But all I did was try to make sure that they ask, I told. I thought about me. So. Yep. And all I'm saying is, at some point, y'all got to think about y'all. Well, Doc, we think, or I don't know how these two guys think, you know, I think about myself every day, but I'd like to think that I've worked with some people that not only think about themselves, but think about me. I, I, I put myself out there for you. I put myself out there for you. What about all the people that was in the auditorium that didn't get a choice? They didn't get a choice. Them Ranger Rats didn't know no better. Well, But you've got directors of the Rangerettes that knew about it. I'm telling you. So and when I, I'm going to go one more time. At some point, you need to be myself. thinking about you. I'm because about I was sitting right there when Trey Attaway, Dan Beach, and Michael Jenkins voted. They took a vote mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to do that. Right. They took a vote. Correct. The, the man, man that's over the crisis management team took a vote to expose how many people's in the auditorium. So, so, but, but now what I'm saying they is... took a vote. Is, is now you're saying that that's going to fall on you. I hope not. But they told me I wasn't getting off of it without at least a, a hand slap. 
at least. Something's gonna happen to me because of it. I'm not getting, I didn't get no deal, I don't get no deal. Nobody's getting a deal, I don't think. I can tell you right now, this one man over here, he removed a small wall in one of his buildings and nobody was there. And he got one year and a $25,000 fine. What do you think I've been looking on the internet to see what all these people do? Seven, 25 years? That's scary shit. That's scary crap. I know we was all doing what we were told to do. I'll say that. We all knew what we were doing what we was told to do. But that don't make it right. So, I'm just saying. You know, Dan said, well, it was done. And we can't undo it. Anyway, I, I'm just preparing up for it. So, like I say, y'all be mad at me. I was asked. I was pulled in. So, I can't go back. And to be honest, I wouldn't go back. I would have to do the same thing. Because I would rather be on the other side of the fence saying I gave them the information that they wanted than saying, I don't know what you're talking about when it hits the press. Did you do that? So I laid it out there. Yes, ma'am. All right. Do what? Is it in trouble or is it in red? What room? Okay, if it's in trouble, I'll check on it here probably after lunch because it's up. Storage room. Laundry storage room on the third floor. Okay, it's probably some lint and stuff. I'll check on it right after lunch. All right, bye-bye. I know I got all three of uh, y'all in here, and y'all don't want to say anything in front of the other one or the other one. And to me, I'm not the one that you really should be saying anything to. I'm not afraid to say anything in front of any of these guys. What? You, you know what I'm saying. No, I'm just no. saying. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. I mean, if, if somebody wants the numbers to the people, to the EPA and the other guy, just let me know and I'll give it to them. So. But like I said, I'm, the only reason why I'm telling y'all is because there's going to be a lot of people mad. There's going to be a lot of people at your church that can't believe that you are we. You know, let their kids go down here to this thing and did this and did that. That's the way it's going to be perceived. I think that's the way it's going to be presented. And I know, just like Walker said the first time, he was in the building, and I don't remember who, who said that he touched the asbestos and fell over there, and he kind of snickered or whatever it was. Was you that told me that? Yeah. Like it was no big deal? Who is Walker? James He's Walker, the board member that came and looked at the quad, wasn't it? He just touched the pipe and said, 
time, but I didn't die. Well, you don't die. You get cancer 20 years later. Mm -hmm. And it usually takes a large amount, but they don't know what amount actually gives you cancer. It depends on each individual person. So, I'm not the only one. I'll just let y'all know that. That is all. I'm not the only one that knows. So, there's others here. See? So. Ben knows about this investigation yes. and everything that you spoke to I, I, folks. I think so, yes. I can't tell you who the initial person, I don't know where it roots, but I know that Scooter and them have been investigating and whenever you poke around long enough, tips come off and then it just kind of tumbles from there. So. Well, if you told them everything you know, then there's all kinds of chips out there. God <laughs> ah, damn. <laughs> I shouldn't know all that stuff. All that should have been should have been done right. Yeah, you can look at your whole life and look back and say that. Though. From, the, from the time you go around telling started, everybody all your business, right. I and say, then think I say, look back I and say, say oh everything. wow, I'm trying to. I say everything. Huh? I'm talking about in regards to the asbestos and the EPA, stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. some of the stuff is going to be old. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do about any of it to go back and fix it other than I'm sure they'll have to hire a, a true safety director. I'm sure they'll have to, they'll have to have a true EPA guy. They're going to have to spend some money. They're going to have to pay some fines. I don't personally think that the administration that was here that let it get there is going to be here. And since a couple of them's already going to retire, I don't know why they'd want to stay here and fight the battle. So I think we're going to have a whole new administration. I think we're going to have a whole new board. Because I think the board members that have been running the votes through are going to be run against, and I don't think they're going to, I think the people are going to vote against them. I think it's all going to change. That's what I think. But I think at our churches, at our meetings, that we're going to be frowned upon when we go in public or whatever. It's going to be some bad people at us. I don't know if I, I may be funny. Maybe I took it too far. I don't know. I lay it not thinking about crap like that. That's all I got. I just wanted to tell y'all the truth so y'all hear it from me. So. When is Beach going to be back? He said next week. And I don't know what he knows or doesn't know. I don't know if he knows anything at all. I know Miss Fowler knows. Miss hmm. Fowler's known for several weeks. I don't know if she knows to the extent, but I know she knows. I don't know how privy she was to all the information. I don't know if she knows the. Well, everybody knows the FBI was already here. I guess they didn't know that they were already here. I thought it was a joke, but I'm just saying they're real people. They're really here. Oh, yeah, they've been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. Well, they're really here now. Mm -hmm. I met two of them. 
and I was supposed to have a follow-up interview sometime with the ones that actually do the the ones that talked to me were corruption and they're handling the corruption end of it which I don't know what all that's about they didn't talk to me about that but according to Dan they was supposed to be investigating the field house or whatever it was down there the 500 grand spent on that so Dan's up to speed on some things with the FBI I don't know, I don't know if he knows he, the rumors were out there I don't know if he knows I'm just saying well, that. you just said that Dan said. Dan that. said that they were here. Okay, so but, Dan does know that. I don't know if he actually believed that the board members, if they were really, because he told me that it uh, was just a task force that looks into stuff. But, like I said, I don't know. You don't think to, it'd be wise to let Dan know? I was told not to say anything. Yeah. Until I just got told a few minutes ago that they didn't. There's nothing really that I can say that will go one way or another. And I don't know what Dan's going to say. I don't know how to talk to Dan about that. I don't know how to talk to y'all about that. I don't even know if I did a good job now. What am I going to tell Dan? He's up there with his mother at the hospital. Am I going to do that over the phone? Or should I do that in person? Seems to me I should do it in person, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, well, it's not that I don't intend on telling Dan. I ain't never talked to Dr. Holder except for when he made me sign that piece of paper that was a lie, and I'll probably never talk to him again because the paper was a lie. What am I going to go talk to Dwayne? Dwayne won't even look at me because he thinks I did something wrong to him, which I never did nothing to that man. Who else is that, Mr. Jenkins? I guess I could go tell Mr. Jenkins, but Mr. Jenkins may be mad at me because I don't know that Mr. Jenkins is going to be the next president if they find out that he voted to expose people. I don't know how all that works. Who who do you go talk to? I don't know who to go talk to. You tell me what to do. Oh no, sir. <laughs> do you see what I'm a dilemma in? Who who can I talk to? I go talk to Miss Fowler. Miss Fowler, I I talked to my attorney, and he told me basically what I'm telling you. At some point, you need to start thinking about you. 